Hey everyone, Rumor Prime back at it again. <laughs> Seriously, uh, I hear some of you guys out there talking about the whole Rumor Prime thing. We've had a lot of rumors lately. Uh, some of them uh, more weight behind them than others. This is actually one of those rumors. I've been teasing it on Twitter for a few days now, uh, and I'm finally going to talk about it because this is legit. This isn't one of those... Uh, you know, random YouTuber, random person on Twitter, random this, random that. This is backing from real people that Microsoft has some major plans of some sort for Nintendo and Nintendo Switch specifically. Now, what those plans are, I don't know. We know Microsoft and Nintendo have already worked together a little bit. You know, we got the Ori series of games, both games. We got, uh, obviously, uh, we all know about Cuphead. But what's interesting, obviously, is what else could be going on. Because we know that Microsoft is basically doing nothing with, in regard, well, I guess nothing really in regards to um, PlayStation. PlayStation just wants nothing to do with them. Uh, they now own Bethesda, and there is that one game from Bethesda that's contractually coming to PlayStation. But beyond that, it's and that and Minecraft, of course, uh, there really isn't Microsoft support. I, I know Cuphead Ori and stuff ended up going over there as well. But in terms of like future support, Microsoft and Sony are not really playing nice together, uh, which happens. We're at the start of a new generation for both platforms. They are competing uh, in different ways, and... Phil Spencer is a very, very interesting guy. So we got this following uh, statement from Jeff Grubb. Now, Jeff Grubb is a video game journalist. Uh, he does, you know, he, the last summary did like the Jeff Grubb games mess, uh, where he basically, Jeff Grubb just knows a bunch of things and has a ton of connections. He works for VentureBeat. Everything he's ever said has basically come true. Sometimes it's about Nintendo, Microsoft, PlayStation, etc. He's got connections everywhere. He knows game developers. Uh, he knows a bunch of stuff. He knows uh, things from lawyers. Uh, like he third heard things from lawyers about uh, the Kojima deal. You know, there's a, a a report out there right now that Kojima Productions and Microsoft are working together, and that Microsoft has. Um, come close to locking in a production deal uh, with them, basically saying that Kojima is making a game for Xbox or for Game Pass, uh, and Microsoft subsidy pay, paying for it and publishing it. Uh, and he heard from lawyers that this was actually a thing going on. So good for him. Jeff Grubb's a great guy. But um, Phil Spencer um, was recently uh, doing his thing, uh, having... Uh, appearing in videos, and this appeared a, a, a while ago, not not too long ago, but a little bit ago now. Uh, and in the background of a video that Phil Spencer was in was a shelf full of gaming stuff. And this is where people started really talking about things with, uh, in regards to, well, here, here's the shelf for starters, so you can look at it. Uh, in regards to potentially what could be happening um, with the future of Xbox. Because in the past, it turns out that the, an Xbox Series S was literally on the back shelf of Phil Spencer during a video, and nobody noticed. Uh, so sometimes he puts teases on his shelves. Well, in the back shelf, there was obviously a Death Stranding thing, which either was um, a sign that Death Stranding's coming to Xbox, which would be interesting since Sony played for, paid for that game, or that the company behind Death Stranding would be doing something for him. But also on his shelf was a Switch. Now, we all know that there's already been support for Switch, so people really didn't think much of the Switch being there. Well, Jeff Grubb went ahead on his podcast and said the following. But I am genuinely, genuinely curious what the procedure is when you guys hear about unannounced information. Take the Kojima news, for example. I'm sure you've known of that news for at least a little while now, but is there a process to verify the information to potentially sift out things that are not true? And would you decide when to talk about these things? Uh, appreciate everything you all do. Have a great weekend. Well, you're the frequent leaker, so this is all you. Yeah, I'm the freak, the freak leak. Um, it is, oh, it's always different in every circumstance. Uh, like, so yeah, let's talk about the Kojima thing. So I did hear about that a while ago. I, well, I heard about it after the, after Phil did his thing and he had it on the, on his shelf. I asked someone like, Hey, what about this shelf? Is there anything there? And uh, that person was like, yeah, everything there pretty much. Even the Switch to a little bit, although who knows exactly, I still don't know exactly what the Switch is significant enough, but apparently everything on the, on the, on the shelf meant something. And here's what it meant for in, in terms of uh, the Kojima Productions statue, the, the Ludens thing. So yeah, it, it doesn't look like Jeff Grubb 
actually knows specifically what's going on, but that it means something. Something is happening between Xbox and Switch. Something's going on. We don't know what, but something. Now, notably, we should note that, hey, you know what? Uh, Bethesda has been one of the big supporters of Switch almost from day one. We got Doom 2016 back in 2017 when the Switch came out. Obviously, we had the Wolfenstein games, Doom Eternal. Maybe there's a potential that Microsoft's going to keep releasing Bethesda games, Skyrim, all that jazz, the next Elder Scrolls. Maybe they're going to keep supporting Switch. And that is something that's exciting to think about as a possibility. But obviously, with that platform, you know, and them focusing on the newer technology from Xbox, it's going to seem a little hard pressed to just put those games on Switch. Or is it? Now, Microsoft has multiple things going on right now. We all know what Game Pass that gets talked about a lot. But one thing that isn't talked about as much because it's not fully released at this point is xCloud. And you have to start to wonder is Microsoft bringing xCloud and thus Game Pass? through xCloud to Nintendo Switch. And would Nintendo allow this to happen? Now, we know Sony won't let Xbox Live on their platform, but will Nintendo allow Xbox Live on their platform if it's just through a streaming service? Hmm, interesting thought. And to further back this up, we have a insider, a leaker that, you know, Reddit is claiming anyways that this person is a leaker and has gotten a bunch of information correct in the past, going out on Twitter and saying... A couple days ago, after Jeff Grubb, uh, you know, mentioned that that switch on uh, Phil Spencer's shelf means something, saying that the cat seems to be out of the bag on Nintendo and Xbox, and that we'll hear more in the fall. So, no, no big announcements coming at E3, which, I, you know, would be interesting because Microsoft and Nintendo are both at E3, but... What that does mean is that we have a lot of information coming uh, about whatever this is this fall. Now, I don't know. You know. Again, we don't know more than this. Everything from this point is just speculation. Is, is it going to be xCloud with Game Pass? Is Game Pass just in general with the games that can be supported coming to Switch? Uh, are we getting uh, future Xbox games also on Switch? Like, is Xbox not caring about platform um, you know, exclusivity, and they're like, hey, look, any game we're making that could also be on Switch, let's put it on Switch. Let's let's formalize that partnership. And remember, Nintendo and Microsoft have been working together pretty much this entire generation. They're, they're, they've, they've had a very tight relationship, but they've also made it very clear they're separate companies with their own goals. Uh, Microsoft really loves Nintendo, by the way. Phil Spencer... He has gone on record many times to talk about how important Nintendo is to the industry, how Nintendo is not just an icon but a treasure, and if Nintendo was ever in trouble, ever about to go out of business, that the industry as a whole should step up to save them. Basically, he's saying Nintendo is is, is too iconic to ever let them fail. Uh, and by having Microsoft support them in some way would be furthering that goal. And also, you're gonna, you know, Xbox fans might not like this potentially having you know their games on a Switch, but who really cares, guys? If you want the best home console experience, get a Series X, get a gaming PC. If you want the best experience on the go, right now, I mean, you can get a GPD Win or whatever like that, or you can get a much cheaper, more affordable option in Switch. So. I think everyone can win in a partnership like this. Having, obviously, the streaming services on Switch, guess what, you know, Xbox fans get used to it. They're going to have streaming services on anything that Phil Spencer can get them on, from TVs to Roku to Chrome, whatever he can get his xCloud streaming app on, he's going to put it there. And if Nintendo is willing to work with him to get his streaming services on Switch, which, by the way, Switch already supports streaming, hello, We just had a game last year come out in Control on Switch through streaming. Uh, And that's not even the first one because in Japan they've experimented with with some Ubisoft games and with Resident Evil. So, again, this is speculative, but it's speculative based on the fact that, factually, Microsoft has something decently big happening on Nintendo. You know, you have Jeff Grubb basically saying, hey, I don't know what it is how big it is, but something's happening. He, you know, we're, we're too far out from the details for him to know more. And then you have, you know, at a underscore Ed saying the cat's out of the bag. You're going to hear more in the fall. Like guys, Microsoft is doing something on switch again. Is it just going to be an indie game port? Is it going to be Bethesda support? Are they going to announce, Hey, the next big Bethesda games also coming to switch. Or is it going to be, Hey, we're bringing X cloud to switch. With Game Pass to Switch, imagine the value proposition if you're a Switch owner, if you also can get xCloud and Game Pass. 
I know some of you guys are anti-streaming, but imagine being able to play all of Microsoft's great games from the studios they bought right on your Switch, even if you have to stream it while hooked up to a TV. I think that's just, that's exciting. Now, I don't know that we're going to go as far as that's what's going to happen, but it might be what's going to happen. That That's the thing. That might be what it is. So, again, this is one of those rumors that has a lot of speculation around it, but also one of those we definitively know Microsoft is doing something for Switch. Something that's likely pretty big. But that's all we know. So, Microsoft and Nintendo, as they said back in the day, better together. All right, folks, I'm Nathaniel Robojets from the Turner Prime. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and why don't you check out our giveaway down in the description or pinned comment. I'll catch you guys in the next video.